Shit! Remember what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Ah. <laughs> Hey everyone, Joanne Street here outside the Kraken Cafe. Yes, the Kraken Cafe here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Just off the strip, you can see like some of the buildings, the big old tall buildings like those ones right behind me. And so here we are today to do a massive burger challenge. I'm trying to go by this pillar, it's a little windy out here today. So guys, for this burger challenge, it features eight of their signature sandwiches and then a big serving of their house-made signature french fries. Uh, I know some of these burgers are like bison, there's a salmon burger, there is, of course, like more traditional cheeseburgers, um, french fries, they apparently they're like a seasoned house french fry. So I'll get you kind of a little bit more details about the actual burgers themselves. Like I said, there's a lot of different items, very unique items going into this. Um, we do have a 35 minute time limit in order to get the meal for free. And if not, it's a $100 price tag so hoping to get that meal for free guys but i'm definitely excited should be good i love burgers i love food this is a very well known place they started as a food truck i think they're around for i don't know eight maybe even more years kind of became a staple in the kind of las vegas food truck scene and then they opened this brick and mortar so cracking cafe their slogan is literally let's get cracking so let's get cracking let's head in have some fun eat some food and with that guys there's a big sign right there. It just opened a couple months ago, so super excited to be here. And uh, yeah, burgers, fries, everything. Let's go eat. All right, everybody, so we're here with all the food. Definitely a lot. These are huge. Like the freaking size of this bison burger is like massive. Huge patty, guys, and well, and eggs. Big egg on burger person. Let me know if you, what you think about eggs on burgers down below. But what we actually have. So right here, I actually have the salmon burger, which is pretty cool. I've actually never had a, like, that salmon sandwiches. I don't know if I had a salmon burger, which is pretty sweet. I have the Thousand Islands burger right here. So that has like their house made Thousand Islands sauce, some guacamole, kind of like, I'm sure it's gonna be very, very fresh, you know? I have the, of course, bison burger here, even with calamari rings on it, super unique. There's also a kind of port wine reduction. Um, I have over here the umami burger right here. So we are talking about an egg, umami, right? Some beef, some lovely cheese. Uh, similarly, that port wine reduction. I believe there's also a short rib on there and a little bit of a skirt steak. Then I have kind of the cheeseburger back here. You know, a classic but goody. It's hard to go wrong with a cheeseburger. I have their chicken sandwich here. Now this looks really good, guys. We got cheese, we got pickles. I do love me some pickles on a good chicken sandwich. And I'm sure this is gonna be fantastic because these are all like their house-made kind of sweet Hawaiian-ish style buns, which they're hefty, but that little bit of sweetness, that savory, a little bit of chicken, guys. There's a uh, also a honey aioli, honey sriracha aioli kind of thing going on. All excited about that. Here I have what it's called the Kraken Express. This is like a pulled pork sandwich. Ooh, and it's had got a bit of heat. It's actually cooked with like habaneros, bits of like citrus, like some orange, of course the coleslaw on top. Love me some of that. And then here we have the, this is pretty unique, not gonna lie. This is the fried chicken, or the French toast fried chicken sandwich, which is like, I mean, literally, house-made bread, French toast. We have in there a lovely bacon. We have a Swiss cheese, of course, their fried chicken. And uh, we have some syrup if we want as well, kind of that chicken and waffle vibe. Of course, their signature french fries back here with those dehydrated herbs they do in house. Some Parmesan. Oh, ho, ho, and they smell dang good. Uh, but yeah, I got every sauce possible back here. Of course, I have some ketchup, some different mustards. And uh, at that, let's get started here just momentarily. You know what I'm gonna start with? I'm gonna start with a salmon burger, guys. That looks, I mean, that's unique, right? So, salmon patty, ooh, egg, and all that good stuff. So, oh, and it's like a, a Greek style, almost like tzatziki dressing, so that's pretty cool. All right, how about we can start, maybe say kind of five, four, three, two, one, let's eat. 
Mmm. Oh man. Woo. Talk about tender. Moist. Mmm. 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 That egg on burger, that sweet bread. Mmm. Oh man. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. I didn't know what to expect, but this is phenomenal. Mm. The bread is like almost kind of flaky, like a biscuit. Mm. Wow. Mm. They have some. Um, they have some southern roots behind this food, and this comes through, guys. It's almost like a like a sweet biscuit, kind of like a salmon croquette. Oh man. Wow. Combo to the chef. That was a good combo. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just work my line a little bit. We got the Thousand Islands. I think I'm going to save that. You know what? Let's go with the cheeseburger. Good old classic, guys. Got some pickles and cheese and beef and give it a shot. Mm. You know what? Simplicity is best. Hey everyone, welcome to Zudu. Today we're here at the Kraken Cafe taking on their giant burger challenge. So with eight different sandwiches, a pile of their house seasoned french fries, I knew we were going to be in for a bit of a ride with only 35 minutes on the clock. Um, I gotta say, I was definitely looking forward to trying all these really unique items though. This sounds funny, but it's such like a classic cheeseburger taste. I'm totally okay with that. So as we introduced, there are just an, a crazy array of unique combinations and all being served on their kind of house-made buns and breads. Like they actually made the bread that went into the French toast for that sandwich. They made the buns that are on all the, like the burgers and the sandwiches there, which are like a really sweet kind of like almost King's Hawaiian bread. Um, definitely a hefty sized bread and a, a very nice addition. I get, I really like kind of the sweet bread with the burger. And like I said, you guys don't have to be quiet by any means. You're totally good, so. <laughs> it's like, you're like, you hear a pin drop in the room. Hey, you can be in shock. You can be quiet, but you don't have to be. We're about freedom here, guys. All right, delicious. Thousand Islands burger. Give that a shot. Mmm. Oh, wow. That guacamole, mm. that bacon. I always love hearing success stories of places like the Kraken Cafe here that started it as a food truck, transitioned into a brick and mortar, and I think they had a really good location. I mean, it's just off the strip. The staff were super friendly. Um, I think it's awesome they do breakfast all day. So whether you want burgers or breakfast sandwiches all day, you can get them all day. I cannot believe they're just encompassing all the flavors are. Like, I mean, I can like dip it in a mustard or something, but not needed. And even the more like kind of unique combination slash fusion items, such as like the French toast uh, fried chicken sandwich, which I mean, hey, let's hope we get to try that because that sounds absolutely insane. I mean, who doesn't love French toast and who doesn't love fried chicken? Actually, let me know down below what you think of French toast. I guess some people don't like it, but I mean, sweet, fluffy, eggy, buttery goodness i mean oof i mean ooh, a little bit of syrup i do love me some french toast let's try this one with the burgers i'll grab this bison burger this is one of the big ones this actually weighs about a pound so the calamari rings the huge bison patty an egg everything you need on there and we are i believe just over four and a half minutes in so we're doing okay for time but man mm. talk about burgers I actually don't think I've ever had um, calamari, so squid, on a burger before. This could be a first. We'll give it a shot, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Comments to the chef. <clears throat> Some more compliments. Ugh. 
Excuse me, guys. Just give it a go. Mm. Big bite. Oh, wow. Mm. So that bison, a bit more of a gamey flavor in there. Definitely a bit of a leaner meat. But it is a nice, uh, it's a nice flavor. Like I said, it's definitely get that deep bison flavor. But that everyone, that's pretty much the majority of the information. I'll let you ultimately get to the rest of the video. You know, we have a large variety of the sandwiches, which we will talk and kind of go through. I'm hopefully able to get through them all. But I gotta say, super cool place, super cool staff. Thanks to everybody who came on out. I always do love me some Las Vegas weather, some Las Vegas people, some hospitality. And uh, we had a really nice showing here. So thanks everybody for coming out. Appreciate you guys coming to the events, taking your time to come say hello, and also watch the videos at home. So, at that everyone, let's see what happens. And ultimately, let's see if we can complete this giant burger challenge. Um, here we got the next burger. This is an umami burger, guys. So some steak on here, short rib, egg. They have the port wine reduction. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's see what it's all about. This is another hefty one. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. The taste of that steak. Mmm. I like it. Mm. So it is rich. I mean, umami, it definitely is an umami aspect to it. Hence the name. Fries, chicken, pork. I will say, no super pork for last. Well, I don't know, this is a little sweet, it's like dessert. Let's go with the chicken, guys. Here we got the crispy chicken sandwich, pickles, fried chicken. Mm. The, uh, the sauce in there is really nice. The sriracha honey. Kind of like an aioli. I think we're about 10 minutes, maybe 20 seconds in. I don't think you can hear it, but the gentleman in the kitchen is going, that's crazy, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> it's funny, I like it. Do some pulled pork. I'm excited for this one, guys. Apparently, it's pretty spicy. Cooked, made with habaneros. There is a uh, pineapple marmalade on there as well. Mm. Oh, wow. Savory pork. Very savory. <coughs> Close has a nice crunch. Mm. That pineapple. Definitely is like a Hawaiian pork sandwich. Chicken and French toast. Thank you, thank you all, thank you all. Like I tell people, they don't have to be quiet. That's by their own choice and own accord. But about 14 minutes in, thoroughly enjoying all these flavors. Really, really, like, some of it is just so simple. 
And some that's like a little more lavish, but either way, they're great, great, great pairings. So I got fries, and I have sweet fried chicken. I mean, I think if we're gonna save dessert for last, excuse me, being the fried chicken and French toast sandwich, better hit these fries. And they actually serve breakfast all day here. So you get like egg sandwiches and stuff. <clears throat> excuse me, woo. Again, comments to the chef, there you go. All right, try these. House-made signature french fries. Mmm. Oh man. Crispy, really crunchy. Mm. Oh yeah, that parm on there, a little bit of herbs. Sink a little bit of garlic up in that business. Woo! That's a very nice fry. Some people think I don't like french fries. That's not true. But I don't like plain french fries as much as I like seasoned french fries. So I think all fries should have a seasoning on them. Last sandwich. Thank you, everybody. So let's try this. And like I said, they make the bread. It is a, uh, excuse me, a brioche. And they did give me some syrup as well. I want some syrup, so let's see what it's all about. Mmm. Okay. I see what they're doing there. Mm. They have the powdered sugar on top. Mm. Oh man. Lovely little bit of cinnamon in there. Really get that sweet and savory combo. Mm. Man, the uh, even that cheese works really well. Mm. I'm a fan. I like French toast. Let me know if you like French toast down below. But chicken and waffles. Mm. All right, I'll try it with the with the syrup just for the sake of it. I'm actually enjoying it without though. Like, I think it's just the bread in general it has a really nice kind of sweetness in it. But for everybody's sake, a little bit of that syrup dippy drippy action oh wow mm. Woo. okay wow um delicious oh my god all right Game changer. Man, that was good. Mm. Not gonna lie, I would drink that cup. It's terrible. However, I usually only have the sugar free syrup. That's normal sugared syrup, so I'm not gonna use too much more of it. But man, that is freaking fire. Definitely try that combo. All right, one more time. Delicious. Mmm. Oh yeah. Damn, that's good. All right. That's fire. Very good. Fried chicken, chicken waffle salmon. Joel proof. And that, I think we are finished right there. I think. 2023? 20 minutes and 23 seconds. About that, you guys have a timer on screen. 2023. 2023, hey, it's the, that's the year. That's the year. Woo. So, so, 
So they, unfortunately, they say all good things come to an end. And that is how I feel about this kind of literal tray of food. Man, that was awesome. It really was. And they're like, I can see the strip right there. They're super close to the Las Vegas strip. Ugh. Excuse me, moi. Man, I gotta say like, like I, I guess what I'm so surprised with, all right guys, I'm just, I'm just gonna get ready for a little bit of a rant. So I was like, okay, Simple burgers where we started, they were just awesome, which was like so impressive. Like that salmon burger was that blew my mind. I was a little skeptical, but they did that so well. Then even just going to that classic cheeseburger, they did that so well. Getting into the kind of more unique, kind of meh, innovative items, I'll call them. Man, like that Thousand Islands burger, again, just the like nice combination of the flavors, the way it paired really well with those sweet breads. At the end there, I mean that freaking chicken and waffle sandwich, the French toast, fried chicken, whatever you want to call it. Woo! Hot dang! That is a good one. Thank you. Like I said, definitely a lot of the play on the sweet, on the savory kind of aspect. They have a real culinary background. And they actually had the food truck um, in Vegas for about eight years before opening this brick and mortar. So they have, you know, a really nice foundation. And I can see why. Like, it just... It just works. It really, really does. So at that, I want to say huge thanks to everybody here at the Kraken Cafe. Appreciate them. Uh, huge thanks to everybody who came out to watch. Appreciate you guys as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. <laughs> Las Vegas has been a lot of fun. It always is. It's a place known for, well, food. Duh. Uh, but a lot of other things as well. So this was great. So yeah, guys, Kraken Cafe, just off the strip. Would recommend. This is delicious. So we're going to get the... About 100-ish dollar challenge for free. Um, oh, and shout out those french fries. Those were like one of those times where I was like, hot damn. That was also really, really good. So thanks, everybody. Appreciate y'all. And that, have a lovely day. That's it. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys, thank you. I've never seen that. Never had that. <laughs> during a show, right? So, that nice. wow, that was good. It was real nice. everybody the time has come not for me to shave my head for you to subscribe so click my face right here subscribe click one of these two videos i picked just for you and exciting news we also have a new channel so if you want to watch challenges raw uncut so you get to hear what the audience says hear my real thoughts opinions noises etc link down below joel hansen raw so check that out appreciate y'all until next time well i'll see you in a minute click on these videos